Hey there, grade five. This is Mr. B, and uh, today I just wanted to bring you a quick uh, little grammar lesson. Um, we're going to be looking at something that's called the predicate nominative, right? So here's what it's called. It's a fancy way of, uh, well, first off, a predicate is the part of a sentence or clause containing a verb and stating something about the subject, right? Um, so normally it's the verb and whatever else tells you something about the subject. And the nominative is just a, a term in grammar that relates to nouns. Really, that's the main thing you want to know. It generally relates to nouns. Um, so Melanchthon here is our subject, right? That's what we would call the subject. Um, in English, subjects generally come first. Um, and in some other cases, in other languages too. But yeah, in English, we're used to seeing a subject come earlier in the sentence. Um, so Melanchthon was a German professor. So here what we have is a verb, and it's a linking verb in this case, right? It's uh, connecting uh, these two things. So it's a linking verb. And then we have this, which is describing who he is. So a German professor is also a uh, noun. Well, it's actually a group of words in this case. So sometimes predicate nominative can be just one word, or it can be a group of words, right? So a German um, professor. Uh, it's also known, and this one describes in more detail who, um, yeah, who Melanchthon is. So a predicate nominative is a word or group of words that completes a linking verb and renames the subject, right? So now we know that Melanchthon is not just, just anyone, he is a German professor, or he was a German professor, right? So this ends up being the uh, predicate, I'm just going to save myself time, predicate nominative. Uh, just a quick note about nominatives is in uh, Greek, right? Um, they show this a little bit better, uh, these links, right? So nominative cases are, uh, will have this uh, endings like this often. I mean, there's lots of things that go on there, but they relate, right? So if it's a, a noun that's related to the other noun, they will have these um, same endings to say that they are uh, connected together, right? Um, and so actually, what often happens in Greek is that you can just um, go like this, and you could just say, oh, that no, was not perfect there, Paulos. You can just do this, and it kind of, uh, this gives the same kind of meaning. It assumes this letter, but yeah, sometimes you want to be more specific and um, how someone reads it. But right, these things make sure that you know that they're connected. Anyways, that's just a side note about Greek, and this is ho edelphos in Paulus, which is uh, the brother was or the brother was Paul, um, right? So, anyways, that's just uh, fun there. Um, okay, and then so uh, next thing is predicate adjectives. The so this is almost the exact same thing, except instead of having a noun, right, a noun at the end, we have uh, adjectives. Adjectives just describe the noun, and right. So this is our here is our um, our noun, right. This is our verb right here, and over here is our uh, adjective, right. And this is the uh, predicate adjective, right, because it's just talking about the noun, right? So this is really a fancy, you know, way of saying it. But uh, just in case, you know, sometimes uh, what I what I learned is that uh, these things that you're supposed to learn in grade five, um, sometimes you don't pay attention and you miss them, and uh, then you end up um, coming back to it when you're 25, and you're like, what was that again? And so it's good to maybe pay attention and get get these basics down. So um, because these will come up if you ever want to learn other languages. Um, uh, these ideas will come up, right? So uh, the boy was fast, right? So fast is describing it. This is your adjective. Um, this is your verb. And here is your noun, right? And this would be the, uh, yeah, the predicate adjective, right? So there you go. So... Um, David was small, right? We get this David. Here's the um, noun. Here's the verb. And here is the adjective. And, right, the predicate 
adjective is um yeah what completes right the, so what completes this uh thing like if you just said david was then you just left the dot 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 you don't have a completion this sort of completes the uh idea right goliath was tall right we have again here is our adjective there's the verb and this completes the verb right again alive david was alive uh, was is kind of is talking about david was something alive right uh, and then goliath's head was right so in this case goliath's head is the um the uh noun right sometimes we can make make a mistake here and think goliath because we see a name but goliath's head in this case is the noun uh the head was dented right so dented is the adjective was was the or is <laughs> the um the verb okay guys uh, that's really short i hope you kind of got something out of that and you'll work on the little worksheet i sent okay cheers bye